A lot of people ask like, how did I become so successful? Because I started paying to get into the right rooms around the right people. Because it's extremely difficult being on the outside looking in to go figure all this stuff out on your own. And how much time do you got to waste and lose in the process of going to do so? Listen, in this video today, I'm gonna give you four moves that's gonna make you uber successful in whatever industry that you're in in life, okay? Now, I followed these obviously in real estate, which I've been doing for the last 17 years, built, you know, multiple seven figure real estate portfolio. But I'm literally, what I'm gonna show you and what I'm gonna disclose to you in this video today is, is transferable to any industry, okay? So here are the four moves. Number one is you gotta have a desire. Now, I know most of you probably say, yeah, I, I know what I want to do, but it, it can't. It's, it's got to be a real desire because whatever that you want to go into, when you follow these four steps, it's going to require some work. It's going to require some persistence. It's going to require some perseverance. And in order to do that, it's got to be a legitimate desire. It can't be because I saw somebody go make money in trucking. I want to do trucking. I saw somebody over here as an influencer. It can't be that. It's got to be a true desire. Now, I'll take it a step further. Right. I'm a man of faith. There's a scripture that said, God gives us the desires of our heart. Most, most interpret that scripture as if he is saying that he just gives us the stuff that we want, right? And while there's some truth to that, the real truth is when you align yourself with God's will for your life, you petition him in prayer, you talk to him about what he's got planned and purpose for your life, then his desires for your life become your desires. Now you just, just so happen to start working on the right things in the right seasons and you're swimming with the current instead of against it. Secondly, after desire, you need to get education, okay? You got to get educated because anything that you're doing that's worth doing, that you got a true desire, that you believe your purpose and your passion and your lot in life is designed for this purpose for you to do, then you need to go get educated about it, okay? And the unfortunate part is for most of the middle class, they stop getting educated after college. When the rich and wealthy, we understand that you get, you need more education post-college, right? Because you need to go find avatars that are doing those things that you want to do, that's had the type of success that you like to garner, and go glean from them, okay? And in, in, in many cases, I'm gonna be honest with you, you got to pay for it. A lot of people ask like, how did I become so successful? Because I started paying to get into the right rooms around the right people. Because it's extremely difficult being on the outside looking in to go figure all this stuff out on your own, and how much time do you got to waste and lose in the process of going to do so? So number two, go get educated. Number three, and this is very important for those that are out here that are information junkies, right? You got a ton of education, but no application. So number three is become a practitioner. Faith without works is dead. So we have to take, see, knowledge is not power. Applied knowledge is power. We got to take the knowledge that we recently acquired and we got to go out and start taking action because action is the only thing that brings clarity. You're never going to figure your way out to success. You, it's your responsibility to go get all the knowledge that you need so that you can at least take your best approach to being successful. But the only thing that's going to make you successful is taking action, right? So you go acquire all the knowledge and the skill that you need, and then you, st you start to go out and put that in practice. So number three is become a practitioner. Number four, and this one life get really sweet. And many of y'all out there probably at this place in some area of your life that you could be monetizing right now while you start to go and do these four moves in another place that you like to go. After you've logged your 10,000 hours, after you followed these steps, after you become proficient at all of what you've been practicing, number four is you become an expert, right? You logged your 10,000 hours, you become proficient at this. Many of y'all working on your corporate jobs that you were that you had a desire to have that job at some point, although you may not feel that way now. You went and got educated, job put you through all kinds of training, sent you all over the world for training, right? Then you've been a practitioner for 20 years on that job. Well, you got your 10,000 hours. Well, guess what you could be? You could be consulting for somebody else. You could be consulting for another corporation. You could be your own boss and start your own business, leave that corporate environment, take that same skill set, knowledge and know-how and go and do consulting work for other corporations, do consulting work for other business owners that need your skill set, right? You can go and do those things while take the four moves and go learn something else. Everything that I've done in life, every business that I've run, I followed these four steps. You can't miss if you do it. But the most important of them all is that you need to have a true desire because there's nothing worse than going out making money 
and having what you think is success, but being empty and unfulfilled on the inside, which most of you probably experience in that work right now. I talked to uh, a, a lady who recently came through one of our real estate challenges. And it's so important that we don't skip or abort any of the steps, right? Most people in society, we live in a microwave society, we go from desire to practitioner, right? We go desire and then all of a sudden we're an expert. We're doing this thing for three months and all of a sudden we're coaching people. It's just ridiculous. And it's so important and, and why I gave you the steps in sequential order is because you need to follow them in that sequence. And I spoke with a lady that came through one of our, our real estate five day challenges that we do monthly. And in the Q&A session, right, we do a VIP session for an hour before I teach um, each day. And she was asking questions about kind of like how, how can she get started effectively when she's kind of in a challenged financial position. She uh, is an educator by trade and she's taking some risk. OK, and I share something during the five day challenge, just talking about how free advice and cheap advice is very expensive. Right. Myself included. Like I, I love making these videos for you guys, but I hope that you understand that while there may be some principle that I can share, while there may be some context and some even some know how, I can never give you all of the intricacies and the intangibles. Right. Because it's a video. You would need to be able to have an exchange with someone, which is why mentoring and coaching is so important. So she listened to just enough YouTube to make herself armed and dangerous. She went out and leveraged one of her retirement accounts at her job. She dumped a bunch of money into marketing for a wholesale off market program. I mean, not program, but to, to start her off market wholesaling business. She aborted the program part. And so she went from desire to practitioner. Well, she skipped the education part and she lost all that money that she goes to work for every day and works so hard to accumulate over time. While I can point to her, the saddest indictment is that that's probably 70, 80 percent of the people out there because they don't take the time to make the investment in the education. That's such a core fundamental in this entire process if you want to be successful. And so I just encourage you, whatever it is that you want to do, you have to go out after you have a true desire for that thing, you have to go out and find the people that have the success in whatever field that you want to go into and pay them because it's better to pay them and save time and expedite your success than to lose time and money of which this lady unfortunately has done. And now she's in a position where she's finally found the help that she really needs and can't afford to figure out how to pay for it. Right now, the good news about her is that she's bold enough to take action. There's many people that just, they let their fear cripple them from doing things that they know are requisite. And so when you got that kind of spirit and ambition, you will eventually figure it out. Gotta bring somebody your way to, that'll bring you the thing you don't have, right? She's got the willingness, the ambitious, the, the ambitiousness, bold enough to take action, become a practitioner. Money is everywhere. She'll find somebody with money, right? Cause she's on the path of seeking and looking and asking and knocking all the things the scripture tells us to do. So I hope that you find this helpful. And so as long as you do, please share this with a friend, a loved one. Go back and rewatch it. OK, comment below. Let me know where you at in your process, what industry you in. I love to get to know who my subscribers are. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so I could bring you more content like this. Just to recap on the way out, four moves, desire, education, practitioner, expert. I'll see you guys on the other side.